Hello! Today, we are doing a, what is the highest damage you can achieve? To do this, we are going to be disabling all of these, because I forgot to last time, and it kind of fucked things up, and disabling this because it's what you earn from the achievement. And I'm trying to do this with minimum cheese as possible, because in theory you could just sit around with this for 3 million years, and yeah, that'd be kind of boring. Yeah, that really wouldn't be very worth it, would it? Eh, pfft. It's too intellect and too strength, so I'm keeping it. Other than that... I'll be disabling that one as well. And disabling these. So now we are basically guaranteed more piggy banks, more dice... Wicked crabs to stay alive because they're broken. And potential blazing helmets, vulture mask, and the plan is to get as many ruined sabers at the end as possible. Uh, to achieve this, I'm going to be go ahead and since everybody does rule always cost one anyways, I may as well do it rather than say somebody else's run is invalid. So what's the plan? Captain, Slayer, Huntress, Wizard, instead of a second Slayer. Because instead of the Frenzy Boost, we can go for the Capture Point. And instead of going with uh, just more armor reduction, which doesn't stack with itself, we can go with Frozen. And Frozen, as you can see, increases the da all damage taken by 15%. So that will already be massively helpful. So first though, Vulture Mask, Crab. I think there's too few elites on that path. Let's go again. Yeah, that'll do. That'll definitely do. We want more elites. Four more loot boxes. And yeah, even under the Blood Moon, they're still taking 26 damage. Get that, and we will. Mm. Now we ain't taking a temp agent from here. Well, we can take the druid at least. Slayer and Wizard acquired. So Slayer does armor reduction, Wizard does freezing. And overall, you put everything together and you have a happy little group. Here we go. All right. More of those is always welcome. 
and we'll buy one of these. It'll increase trap damage for right now, and later we can give it to the captain. There we go, that's the only event that we need to do. So we do need the wizard up to max level and we do need the captain up to max level. KO for 114 damage on a level 2 motherfucking guy. When I tell you that fucking Huntress is OP, this is why. <laughs> Loot box obtained. Mm, anyone except the road down there, so we'll go with you. Let's see, we can do that, and this goes to you. get out of here you get moved over you get reinstated you go there well nah we do that and then we sell more of these we move that wicked crab over to somebody who will use it we sell this we get that which is pretty damn good All right, that won't be useful anymore. Oh well. Haste goes to you, and everything else goes to you. Now that can go to you. We'll swap you over, because you need to be ice. Which means nobody wins isn't really going to work. We'll just take tokens during that event. Granite plate. Yeah, that's better than Wicked Crab, as it literally doubles your HP. And since I don't need you to be leveled up at all, I will just sell that, and that, and that, because why not? <laughs> Alright, where is the line with the, well, I was going to say where is the line with the most elites, but that's pretty damn obvious. Hundred and seventeen damage, and that I believe is without the capture point boost. Without a lot of boost, actually. Just make it so I don't have to walk over it. There. Mm, nah, 
that'd be a waste of money. Alright, that's one of the things we're looking for. We get another one. And it's better than the locket blade. We get another one. Now we're talking. That is one of the things that we are definitely going to try and do at the very end here. Is re-roll for as many sabers as we can. You only need one of each kind, and then the rest can be miscellaneous. But that will greatly help in our quest. And if we hit phase two of the boss without seeing a big fancy number, we're going to reset the fight. Call it cheese if you like, but... Uh, through so many combats, it'll give you some amount of permanent, uh, intelligence. And we do want that. up here because it's red and hard to see but I got it got that one too and all of you and then just win before the rest of it disappears not bad technically buy that but we haven't found any loaded dice so that ain't happening not to the degree I'd like I re-roll is because if we get a piggy bank then it's free but later on if there's ooh, yes this is very important Ooh. 
Don't worry, this is fine. Just need to pick up the blood and these guys will take care of it. give you a lot of intelligence but this gives us a lot of stats I'll take that as temporary that we got this and we got this so we discard this we discard this we put this on you we put this on you we discard this we put this on you we now have all of these I'm going to take one loaded dice put it onto the king and then we are going to re-roll all of this. Let's see what happens. We got a twin lightning. That's not bad. We can put that onto you. War banner. We put onto you. We can take this granite plate. Well, we are looking for better things than that, I suppose. Very well. She'll take this as well then, and we shall re-roll it. That is what we are looking for. 
double heaven's fervor on you bunch of locket blades which we luckily don't need now we only have one slot left and spending nine money on that doesn't seem very wise to me so we are going to sell this and i guess we can keep that on you for now mind we will sell you and you and you and you and then we reroll once twice unleashed tome all right that's one of the things we're looking for we have one more reroll where we can buy a thing okay we'll buy you reroll nothing so you another unleashed tome so right now you have 29 intelligence which gets doubled this is giving you a total of nine because we have three three and we don't have a, another sword so technically these are giving more while your minions are dead so that's fine i suppose at unleashed tome we already have you maxed out and you maxed out so it's not technically something we need so how is this going to work? We're going to have a three extra strength for capture points. That sucks. Okay, we're not going to worry whatsoever about the capture points. We're going to worry about you dealing 66 damage, which is less than last time, but you're going to be dealing 20% more damage than last time, which hopefully is going to matter a lot more. We're going to have this, which is going to attacks always apply 25% freezing so we need really haste on you and not the damage so I'm going to go ahead and take that off and we'll add you in that way we have more fireballs for better use and we'll take this off too we'll sell you and we'll give you this there all right so you are going to reduce their defense by three. You are going to increase damage dealt by 15%. You are going to increase damage dealt by 59%. And you are going to deal increase damage dealt by uh, five and then by another 20%. I hope that close enemies does count melee distance being close. We're already doing 205 damage. And hell, I don't even think that the captain's buff was active at the time. So the thing is, is that the hunted buff lasts basically forever. So we can wait until the perfect time to strike. We can wait until we have all of the buffs. So we're waiting for them to be frozen. Waiting for them to be uh, hit by the thing. Boom, 807 damage. But I don't think we were actually buffed by Captain at the time. So I'm going to quit the menu and I'm going to continue game. And we're going to try this again. Because we did 809 damage, but I don't think we were buffed by Captain. If we were, then that is truly sad. Maybe they were in the red zone, maybe some other thing happened, but we should have done more than a thousand damage there. All right, let's put down our traps and then we will wait for the time to strike. Six hundred and sixty two. Yeah, we definitely weren't buffed by Captain. But if we weren't buffed by Captain there and Captain should be giving fifty percent increased damage, then we should be dealing, you know, over a thousand damage, but we're not. Something about when the fucking buffs are applied is making it not happen. Alright, we 
wait. We've got two of the axe debuffs on them right now. They aren't even hunters marked. Okay, they are now hunters marked. We just have to wait for the fucking slayer to do his thing. And we need to re-wait for them to get frozen. Come on, freeze, damn you. Okay, captain's buff is active. Come on, freeze, damn you. Mm, why? Just fucking freeze, you piece of sight. <sighs> and Captain got immediately eviscerated. I know he has Blazing Helm, but still. Oh my god. hell was that okay, so you should be trapped this time good hunter's mark is applied now freeze them please two three four buff active okay I'm not sure what we hit them for but we hit them and they immediately went into phase two so I'm going to assume that that was max damage because I know Captain Buff was active, I know they weren't in the red, I know they were frozen, and I know we had max six stacks of fucking armor break on them. I will check the footage and I will see how much damage that was. And if it's not over a thousand, I will be surprised and disappointed. 